Hello there, Adam Bazalgette here from Scratch Golf Academy at the beautiful club at Mediterra in Naples, Florida. Today, let's look at a drill to really help you improve your balance with your ball striking, a two-stage drill in terms of degree of difficulty. Hopefully, it will be helpful for you. Very briefly, if you're new to this channel, would love it if you'd subscribe, helps us bring you more free content. Also, the Scratch Golf Academy app is at the App Store, lots of fun training tools, lots of features there, hope you'll check that out. Well, good balance is a part of any great golfer's swing. Dave Stockton, the two-time PGA champion, by the way, great putting instructor, maybe the notable exception. He used to stumble around a bit, didn't bother him. Generally, though, good balance is critical. Let's do what we need to do to learn balance is to practice balance. So we need to put you in a slightly more challenging or unstable position. We're going off one leg, and I'm going to recommend the target leg for the right-handed golfer. That's the lead left leg. Let's have a look at the two ways you can do this drill in terms of difficulty. So the easier stage of the drill, balance on this lead leg, ball will be a little inside that front foot and just drop the back foot back and barely balance on the toe. Now it's a lot easier than having one leg, which we're going to look at that in a minute. A little bit of balance. The reason we drop the foot back is we don't want the knee poking out in the way. So drop it back. I feel 95% of the weight on this foot. Make some swings. See how much energy, you won't be able to make a full swing, but see how much energy you can gradually put into the swing and still maintain your balance. Again, the brain learns balance almost at a subconscious level. Teaching a kid to walk, you don't lecture it on balance, it has to try it out and it gradually learns it. Riding a bike, you may have experienced that when you were younger. Same principle here, just hitting shots, making swings helps you out. Let's look at the one leg only drill. So let's try the one-legged shot. We'll touch on that for a moment, and then we'll look at some hidden benefits. So I'm going to go pretty much opposite that front foot, wherever I feel the best relationship to the ball. I am going to touch the two inside of the pant legs together for some support, but my foot is slightly off the ground. A Little bit thin there. I'd probably try that off a tee. Maybe I should have. A really great way to feel it. Now here's a couple of thoughts for you going forward. Good balance is only possible or is partly made possible by good flow and good technique. If you're a golfer, and many are, that thrust too much and overwork their torso and arms, bad rhythm, balance isn't going to be good. So you're going to learn a little bit about that. If you can keep your balance with these two drills, you are probably swinging in a much better sequence. Secondly, this is something you can do a little bit of practice swinging between shots when you're out playing. Even just the right foot touching, just making a few swings while the other other person's hitting, finding your balance, then when you get over the ball, both your rhythm and your balance are going to be better, I'm pretty sure of it. Hope this helps you. Leave a question or comment below. Happy to get to as many as I can.